Hello zusammen! Or should I say, hello everyone! I am Rogeliza P. De Montar, your discussant. Let's travel and discover Germany! Let's go and explore the land of poets and thinkers. Germans are famous in all forms of arts, but particularly in classical music. Germany's famous composers include Bach, Brahms, Schumann, Wagner, and the people's favorite, Beethoven. This is the German president, and this is the German chancellor. Basically, a chancellor is kind of similar to a prime minister. German president is Frank Walter Steinmer. So he was born on January 5, 1956 at Detmold, West Germany. So he is currently 66 years old as of 2022. So he is the 12th president of the Federal Republic of Germany on February 12, 2017 and re-elected for a second term of office on February 13, 2022. So, kaduhanan niya terminó. Let's proceed to the German Chancellor. So, he is Olaf Scholz. Olaf Scholz was born on June 14, um, 1958 on Osnabrück, Germany. He is two years younger than the president. So, he is um, 64 years old as of 2022. Ever since he was young, he is already into politics. So this is him at the Young Socialist Congress of 1984. So let's talk about the form of government of Germany. So Germany is a democratic country and during 1949, it was the birth of the modern German democracy. The Federal Republic of Germany is structured as a federal state and parliamentary democracy. The basic law stipulates that all government powers emanate from the people. The authority of state is subdivided into legislative powers or the legislative. Then um, the powers responsible for administration of uh, justice or the judiciary, um, executive powers or the executive. In terms of protocol, the federal president is Germany's most senior representative. The president of the Bundestag is, in terms of protocol, the second most senior. The proxy for the federal president is the president of the Bundesrat, an office held on an annual basis in rotation by the minister president of the one of the 16th federal state. The office with the greatest political power is that the federal chancellor. The president of the federal constitutional court is likewise one of the country's high representatives. So this is Barbel Bass. She is the president of the Bandesta since October 2021. And this is Prof. Dr. Stefan Harbath, the president of the federal constitutional court. So this is a somewhat like a graph about their form of government. And this is the other one as well. So this is the German flag. As you can tell, it has three colors. There is black, red, gold, or yellow. Black represents for determination. And then red represents for hardiness, bravery, strength, and valor. The last but not the least is gold or the yellow is a symbol of generosity. So this is the map of Germany. Germany is located in Central Europe and shares borders with a lot of nearby countries, including Denmark, the Netherlands, Poland, and Czech Republic. The population of Germany is 83.02 million as of 2019, which is the third largest in Europe. The capital of Germany is Berlin. Berlin is located in the northeast part of the country. Berlin has a population of 3.645 million and is a very popular destination 
for expats and international students. So this is the currency of Germany. They use euros, obviously, because they are in Europe. So, Aminila Quarta. So this is the equivalent of euro to Philippine peso. So one peso, I mean one euro is equivalent to 58.5. Twelve, very dako. Dako pa sa dollar. If the dollar is dollar, euro is mas dollar ganon. So let's proceed to the top tourist destination in Germany. Germany is a Western European country with a landscape of forests, rivers, mountain ranges, and North Sea beaches. It has over two millennia of history. First, of course. From the capital, the Berlin's Brandenburg Gate. So this gate um, symbolizes uh, peace. Its original name was therefore also Peace Gate. It is a great attraction for all Berlin visitors and one of the most important signs in Berlin. If you will think about Germany, like inigad ang mutunga sa imu uto. So let's proceed to the next. Guys, disclaimer ha. The mo ikaw dar mga lisud na mga words na ipanliptok sa Germany. That's why bear with me if I am pronouncing it incorrectly. So the next tourist destination. Wow, very beautiful, guys. This is the Cologne Cathedral or the Kölner Dom. Do you know me? So it is the Germany's most popular tourist attraction. Not just in Germany, ha, huh? but also in Europe, because it is the most important pilgrimage churches in Europe. The next one is, wow, very Cinderella inspired. This is the ultimate fairy tale castle. The oh my god, we saw the ito, the Neuschwanstein. <laughs> Guided by various architectural and artistic motifs, the romantic image of a medieval knight's castle was thus created. Neuschwanstein Castle was opened to the public and has since offered an impressive glimpse into the world of the fairy tale King Ludwig II. Due to its spectacular location and the fact that it served as inspiration for Disney movies such as Cinderella, diba? Inspiration in the Siena Castle is Cinderella and is one of the best places to visit in Germany. So if you want to go to Germany, don't miss the chance. The next one is, oh my god, the Black Forest, pero green. The Black Forest is a mountainous region in the southwestern corner of Germany. The Black Forest is best known for its dense evergreen. It is not just merely a forest, diba? There's a village, village. There's a village and Gothic buildings as well. Next is the Insel Menil, <laughs> the flower island of Lake Constance. This island in Lake Constance is located at one of the south southernmost tips of Germany and has beautiful parks as you can tell. Grabe ka pa nga dayaw na mga flowers tas gibuo pa gani nila into an animal. Over a million tulips in spring. More than 1000 roses in bloom in summers. Oh my god. And over 12,000 magnificent dahlias in autumn. The island is a flower paradise all year around. So, if you are looking for places to visit outside Germany's border, I am telling you guys, if y'all come to Germany, tapos gusto pa niyo na mukad to pa mula gwala gwa pa biskan kain. Well, there are many other European countries that are relatively quick to reach, like quick to reach. First, Denmark, Poland, Czech Republic, Austria, Switzerland, France, and the Netherlands. Hindi ako galit. Let's check the travel details from Philippines to Germany, in case you are interested to go there. So here, there are a lot of options actually. The price refers to the airline, I guess. One-way flight to Germany from Philippines, which cost fifteen thousand three hundred eighty-nine. My God, barato ba yon? So yeton fifteen thousand is from Manila to Berlin. Agad-agad. 
So there are top airlines flying from Philippines to Germany. So yes, these are the top 10. You can see their cheapest offer up to the average flexibility if it is on time, if it is COVID-19 safe or COVID-19 free dinner, like you are safe. So yeah, you can guys can check out on the website chart. Let's proceed to my most favorite part, the food specialty and the legacies. Actually guys, the mo igad ang mga lamig nila na pagkaon pero gipili ko na lang. Medyo sa yung ipronounce kay mo na ko. So, first is broth and broccian. It is an important part of the of the cuisine which is eaten all over the country and served with most German dishes. They really love bread. Bread is enjoyed with most meals especially breakfast and dinner and often usually of course in Lunch. German bread tends to be heavier and heartier than bread from Italy, Spain, and France. Mas tamig na sa Germany. Char. The next one is Kassespatzel. This dish is from southwestern regions of Germany. Um, Kassespatzel is made from layering small spatzel pasta with grated cheese and topping with fried onion. It is usually served with a salad and sometimes with applesauce. So next is Amudanan Street Food sa Philippines. Pero it is called Currywurst. So Currywurst is sold from stalls and fast food eateries in many towns and cities. And if you want to know what food the capital city Berlin is famous for, you will quickly discover that it is currywurst. So, ini maya na kuon pagkaon, grabi kasi kat sa Berlin. It is something that is eaten on the go. Di ba? Is it food gayud? Like legit. So, the next one, gutom na bang tanan? So, the fourth one is kartoffel puffer and bread kartoffel. Struggle get the pronunciation. So this food is more like saute or hashed potatoes, where small chunks or chips of potatoes are parboiled and then fried with onion and sometimes bacon. Then you pray to the next one is Patay. Sour Sour Bratton. Sour Sour Bratton. Basta kay, this type of food food this type of food is a German pot roast. It literally translates as a sour roast. Meats tend to be a uh, tend to be veal, beef, or pork, which is marinated for days or even weeks. Next is the most known charm, the Brazil. Brazil is the German term for pretzel. Oh, di ba? Ito pagkano na pretzel? Ito may strawberry, may milk, may chocolate. Okay. Although you may see them sold under either name. Available at bakeries and on street stalls, a brazil is made with a long strip of dough, which is folded into a knot and then boiled before being baked. Wow! So, before si it bake, it boiled nice, yeah. This results in a chewy brown crust and a soft, fluffy interior. So, let's proceed to the economic status and source of income of the people. That to get a German country. Germany's economy is expected to produce 4.2 trillion dollars in 2019. So 2019 pa yan to. As measured by nominal gross domestic product. The nation is the world's fourth largest economy following the United States, China, and Japan. So big time get it in Germany. To compare countries' GDPs, you must use um, purchasing power parity. Manufacturing accounts for nearly a quarter of Germany's GDP or gross domestic products, the automotive, mechanical engineering, chemical, and electrical industries are most significant. Major companies in Germany include Volkswagen, BASF, and Siemens. So basically, an ila source of income, like big time source of income, is the automotive, like mechanical engineering. More on technology and mga motor, motor, car, car, ganun. Electrical, chemical industries, mga ganun. Let's proceed to the School of PE and Arts. 
I would like to present to you these schools, all of these schools are offering um, physical education subject and courses. So name them. There's a lot because education is important for them and physical education is important in Germany. So let's talk about physical education teacher average salary change by experience in Germany. Sa Germany sagot, an Imo Swildo is ma based sa Imo experience. So let's say you have less than two years of experience. So an Imo sagot is 1,410 euro. So multiply it into 58.12. Diba? Let's say you have 58,000 a month. So let's proceed to the language and nationality. So nationality is German. So in English, they are called German. Pero in, in Germany, they are called Dutch, 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 Gunner. And then, there are top four languages in Germany. Of course, the first one is German. 95% um, of the population are speaking German. And then, 56% of the population is English. And the 15% is French. And the 5% is Russian. Ethnic groups, 87.2% um, is German. 1.8% is Turkish. 1% is Polish, and 1% is Syrian, and other is 9%. So, let's proceed to the tribe and dances. Actually, I really have had a difficulty in finding what are the tribes in Germany, but I find, I found rather, the this dance called Schuplattler, mainly performed by adults. This folk dance has originated from the Alpine regions of Bavaria and Tyrol, located in southern Germany and Austria. Let's proceed to the national dance. The national dance, based on what I have found on the internet, it is Lelicher Walzer. The waltz is often regarded as the national dance of the Germans. It is said that the remote region of the waltz are in Swabia, which made the dance researcher write in his book, that's its own history in 1869. The waltz is one of the most lovely inventions of the Suwagians. In Germany, waltz or the Landlicher Walzer, they performed uh, various styles of waltz from all over Germany. Next up is the folk dances of Germany. First is the Oracle Fragen. The practice of consulting the Oracle comes from Thuringia. In spring, maidens cast Reds of flowers in streams or ponds, hoping to see the face of their sweetheart in the water. Actually, they must not be disturbed. Next is the neither neither sorbus neither This courtship dance comes from Lower Serbian Lusatia. The lassies are under a special kind of guardship of a man for a whole year. The man accompanies the girl at all fest through the year's cycle. The next one is Ruler Springer. This vigorous dance has its origin in the little Thuringian place Rula and clearly shows the zest for living of the inhabitants at the time. The men showed this by jumping and landing on the ground with such force that it could be heard miles away. The next is Windsor Tans. Various forms of the Greenlander form the basis for this joyful dance. The dancers portray the various steps of wine making. For example, they do the stomping of the grapes and the tasting of the wine. Next is the Varsovie. Its special characteristic is the constant change between powerful mazurka step and charming world sections. Last but not the least is the like mazurka. Teasing is a sign of affection or even better, dancing. The choreography combines various styles of mazurka from all regions in Germany. Let's proceed to our last topic which is the music accompaniments. First is the zither. Actually, there's a lot of accompaniments but I will only show you few of them. The zither combines the harp with the guitar but is classified as piano. The zither strings stretch across fretboard with five strings that are plucked using the left hand. The harp-influenced part of the zither has 37 strings. Next. 
The next one is Waldzither. The Waldzither, which in Germany translates to Forest Zither. It is a boxed neck and string that the player strums or plucked with. Its popularity across Germany made the Waldzither um, the country's national instrument and integral to German folk music. The next one is Hamelchen or Jumelchen is a small German bagpipe. This musical instrument comprises a series of pipes, drones, and an inflatable bag that is sometimes made out of um, animal skin. The next is mandolin. Mandolin is part of the lute family with its teardrop-shaped sound box making its distinctive from the lute. The last instrument that I will be going to share with you is the German lute. Like the Waldzither, the German lute is one of the nation's national instruments. Appearance-wise, um, the German lute is like an ordinary lute, but the sound board is bigger and the carving more elaborate. The German lute sounds is rich, resonant, and has heavy bass. So that's all. I hope you learned something. Onoganiyoton Capital. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening.